Already Astralis, they've got their minds set in this one. They're all grouping over towards this B-bomb site. Heroic, are they ready for the pace that's about to come their way? It's quick indeed. It's ancient after all. We're going to see a lot of B hits, aren't we? Stown almost gets caught. He's on the head of his teammate. It's getting wild in the cave. Churned up, chewed up, spat out. Astralis get the oh! sight and Config eviscerates Tessa through the smoke. Still refresh here. Oh. Config has he got the read. He's gone right through side by side. Astralis may have essentially already won this round, but refresh. He's body blocked. He's trapped in a little cave. Hello. Yoink. Quick kill, but it should be all for refresh. He can get double faced right now from cave. Astralis going to try and chase him down. Two on one and Blame will close. It's Astralis with that pistol. Shush doesn't want to overextend here, so for the time being, he actually kind of leans back towards that A-bomb site. The pennies dropped. Heroic have started to realize, right? Even though Refresh is getting trapped out in the back of Donut, they haven't cleared him, and everyone else is rotating over. The AWP is the only thing left out of the picture. Every other player of Heroic here in the right place at the right time. Cadian picks a lurk up B-ramp. Tessa stops Farley from getting deep, and that bomb is only now getting retrieved. Astralis make a massive error in leaving that package back down in jungle, and now it is just config. There's no no way to win this round, folks. It is done. He can kill all he likes. Heroic find their first rifle round. Deep smoke down and towards the double doors, Ooh. but it's Charles. They're not respecting it. They're running up the ramp. Tessa's dead. Now over in cave, Stown's been smoked off. Right now, this B site is compromised. Astralis are moving in. And oh. smoke spam along with the nade. Gonna go a long way, stops that bomb plant. Astralis have to go back for it. And while this is happening, they're losing bodies left and right. Glaive's traded places in the smoke. He's let a player right by him. I think he knows. He heard that flash over the top. Zip does manage to stop Shush from getting any further. He doesn't want to push it with the orb alone. This kill is everything. If Glaive can find it, Heroic might be forced out of this round. Zip's fighting in the middle of the open, and now he's all that stands. The clutch man of Astralis trying to spray, but Cadian flicks back in time. He can't find that bomb, but he will just get that defuse with seconds to spare. Glaive's going to molly Stown. He's now actually trapped on the wide side. Glaive could take this fight if he wants. Stown just sits in front of it and fights for his life. Blame can't trade. Not yet. Grenade's not going to do a thing. He gets the spot, but Stown is buying so much time, and he might have more to show. Two kills before all is said and done. This is going excellently for Heroic as they brawl in middle late. That bomb is left alone, and so is Blame. As he goes back, he's going to die to the pushdown ramp. Tessa's already there, already established. It's a heroic with that equalizing round. Mid take now, Cadian, very mobile. Different spots every time, and he starts in the middle, taking down the in-game leader on the other side. He can reset as Astralis poised back to B. Yeah, they just want to go through. They're pushing this smoke in at top ramp, and they're going to come to pay the price for it. Tessa's. While all this is happening, don't let it draw your attention away from Shush, who's coming in on this big old backstab, right? All the way through A, and now wrapping the B side of the map. What? He's gonna catch Config. Config was even holding for that. And that's just salt in the wound there, man. You were fully ready for the wrap round. It could have given you an avenue back into this one. But instead, it's gone from bad to worse for Astralis. Now, as they move in, Cadian is there to extinguish the last little light of hope here. It's just Farley, and he's also about to throw himself into this AWP. Yeah, no saving this one. Cadian's got it. Hook, line, and sinker. Heroic find five on the CT side. In the cave, looking like he wants to fight. Flame's gone ahead of this oh, smoke. Yeah. Stown's got no idea. Oh, oh my god. He's Stown dead. is just so unaware that Blame managed to slip the net. And so that's a freebie. Astralis, they need to do well in this position, right? They've been waiting kind of all first oh half goodness. since the rifles came into play to start around in this five on four. Now they've got it. It goes unpunished. And so this is where they're hoping to find success. Glaives pinched oh. it in. Refresh can't hold it with the double, but Cadian is here to block oh. the hole in mid. Six shots. Refresh sets him up. Cadian does him right. Shush pushes again in middle. And Astralis can't get comfortable. Not in this round. An opener in which he didn't even have to work that hard to get it right. It just kind of hinged on a good timing. Out of blame F getting hit. That's going to give a gap. They're going to boost up and over again. Refresh might spot this on another jump. He sees it. Farley over the top. Now drop down. And Refresh looks for more. He'll find both. Yeah, I mean, that's just a great example of kind of working angles there, right? Behind that box, it, it's very tricky to clear if you just never give them the peak. And so the patience 
was the question there for Refresh. Now the push up through P-Ramp. Oh. Flash is good to set up Tessez, but he can't convert for the second. Can Zip give Astralis a way in? He's found himself a double, doing everything he can to make a round happen from nowhere. Over on the short side, Stown is ready to go through this smoke. Astralis gonna double up oh, at long. Stown is already in the sight. They've seen the shadows. Kadian's getting hounded down, but Conflict oh. hung out to dry with the flashbang. Kadian goes soaring on in. The Watchman sat here in silence, but ready to go off if it calls oh, for it. They've seen him on that jiggle. They know he's here, but that does not make dealing with him any easier. Everyone from Heroic, with the My exception goodness. of Cadian, is in this A bomb site right now. And Astralis, they're learning it the hard way. They're getting churned up as they try to move in. Ooh. It's just Blame F left standing. Even though this guy puts up crazy numbers, a 1v4 of this proportion, it should never happen. Flames already looking at the back line, hoping they feed him, hoping they give him a reason to go for this. But with so much time having elapsed, he is out of here. He's not looking to win the round anymore. Oh Just looking to survive, and Kadian won't even give him that. Astralis going to try and take Cave first. They've at least got Jag. One more room to take. They've got to wait out this door smoke. It screwed their lineups up right now. Ooh, first entry comes in. Farley delivering the goods. No warp needed. Two kills. Config's going to follow up as well. Stown can only hold on to one. And suddenly, Astralis have broken through. Smoke's not needed. But that's going to give room for Heroic to fight back if they want. Yeah, Refresh wants to fight for this. Wants to go in alone. He doesn't have support right now. This is a oh. solo mission. And he's crushed out. Config doubles up. See him, man. The doctor is in and he's creeping in through middle, Scout. holding, and he's gonna nail Farley on that cross shot. Never even knew what hit him. The man who opened up last round for Astralis is already. Kadian doesn't know, but if Glaive wants to go back, he will walk to his own demise. It's a very weird position, towing the line between death and light is Glaive. The smoke goes out, it hits Kadian, he has to give it up. He can't go through that one, not yet. Leave it up to his one man, anchored inside of the site. The superstar Stown has to do it all. Yeah, good angle to get one at a bare minimum here, right? They're not looking at him, he's going to have free reign, open sight lines, and oh. there's Stown dealing with the B play. And that's only started to come through since they've amassed this wonderful first half scoreline. Oh, they've had enough, haven't they? Again, smoke on the molly. They go running right through and just shuts them right up with almost three. He has to go back for it. Blame will trade. Oh, it's not too late, but it might be too little for Astralis. Three more kills in the way of a fifth round. Angles can just be hold. That bomb has to cross out of this position eventually. Kadian. He doesn't know Zip's made it in, but he'll about, he's about to find out. There's the jiggle. Kadian was moving, though. He goes back for more, and that's a lights-out shot as Heroic close with 11 CT rounds. Absolutely dominant on this first half right now. Astralis. It's the context in which it happened. It's the fact that three of those four rounds came off the pistol. Over what? in mid, Kadian's opened Ow. up. Despite getting flashed off the angle, he's the one reaping the reward. Blame F has missed. Oh dear. The dual barrette is betraying, and that could have made all the difference there. If he was able to reclaim the 4v4, oh. this could have still been an Astralis round. Now Zip and Config have got to do it inside of B. They're getting pressured on either side. One man dead up the ramp. Look at Kadian. But he's still kicking, still going, and still willing to fight. Glaive can stop all of this. The bomb's going back. Yeah, I mean, Kadian realized that he'd drawn just enough rotation that you may as well go back to that B site. Stan was still holding Cave, and Glaive stopped Kadian on the box. So now, Astralis have made the read again. They know what's up. Zip hasn't moved a muscle. He's got to win this fight, though, or it might not matter at all. And Stan taps him with a P250. Heroic with a plant, and Astralis with no chance in this retake. Yeah, it's got to be so fast. That's the problem. All these kills are going to happen immediately. Ooh. Config, there's one, but with Glaive still trying to flush Stown out, even just delaying here can't be enough oh. to win you the round, but Stown doesn't want to win it to time. Wants to win it with style. Big danger is, is that, like, you know, you kind of need Blame F. If, if he's able to win this ramp fight, suddenly he has options to, like, push ahead and give himself a safety net. That's not the case, however, and his teammates die behind him. He's going to be hung out to dry. Ooh. Yeah, they're spilling in. Blame's overran. It's worst case scenario there. The two players that were holding on to Cave are bested without doing a thing. And Blame F was hung out to dry. Now just Glaive in the one versus three with the bomb already down. 
And Heroic already so deep, it was very much a done deal, wasn't it? That was Pink through the wall. Config. Oh no, the reload, not the time he needed it. Two bullets left, that's why he went for it, neither connect. Shush will find that kill, and this should be all said and done. Unless the Deagle of Blame can get ahead of Heroic. They've not mollied him off. Fast flank. Oh, Zip hits the headshot okay. with the USP. There's a world, there's a way, but Blame is cut down, and Zip needs the gun. Will they allow it? He goes for it, but flashed out. Tessas finds the shot, and Heroic leave no stone unturned. 14-4, this is it for Astralis. Yeah, if you don't win this one, Ancient has slipped away from you in a very real and a very big way. Zip holds on to Cave with the first. Nice. And with Blame here to help. They managed to trade it favorably. Finally, Heroic. They cast their eyes on a part of the map and Astralis don't give it to them. It feels like one of the first times they've had to make oh. one of these real on-the-fly adjustments. And with Shush falling, that kind of was the backup plan yep. over towards A. Save. Very common to see. Lave retaking middle with Config. Contact P. Tessus is lining up nades and Config beats him to the punch. Flashed out by his teammate. Not ideal, but Heroic weren't there to capitalize upon it. They were trying to throw grenades. At this point, it should be clear that it is destined to end over towards A. The utils now coming through for Heroic. They had very little to launch this offensive. And the CT sideline nice. left open. Gonna be their downfall. Everyone's there for Astralis. It might be a gap there. That was a deep flash, rather. So, Bot can get allowed unless random spam does it. And a bot plant here is fantastic for Heroic. They probably won't convert it, but even just the extra money for their future gun round, Astralis flash their way through smokes and try and clean up house. Should be easy enough. And every kill coming in, just refresh. Oh, it's a mess! It's a mess! Just how my Tech 9 works, too, don't worry. No boost employed, they're just trying to spot for information. Molly in the back of the site, Glaive's going to be forced out to fight to commit to die after just what? Flash out donuts, perfect for Config. Two kills off the spray. He has been a raw on this A site. And Heroic keep bashing their head into it. Nine rounds now. At what point do we start believing? The kind of bastion of hope that it used to be for a T side oh. facing Astralis. Tessus's smoke didn't put the molly out, and so he's now far lower than you would have liked. However, what? Flame was not considering it. Tasted his own medicine, perhaps, coming through cave. Oh god, don't get caught, Zip. Stands up close. Yeah, this could start to tumble, man. They need to keep them out of this ramp area, and right now, they've lost Zip. That's Tessus out of the cave side. Oh. Farley, so many angles to look at. Gets one while blind, but that's the end of the line for him. And now oh. into the retake, it's just config left. 1v3, he's given us multi-kills, he's given us big moments, but this one is too far gone. Heroic are up onto 15. Tessas is a freak. Keeping Heroic at bay, but they're playing close to this smoke at the top of ramp. They're already trying to maximize every square inch they're able to take at the top of ramp. Zip flashed in for a peek, but it doesn't go his way. Refresh gets the opener. Oh, Glaive's no. now moved around to reinforce this side of the map. Blame F with the swing. Oh, it's damage, no. but it's not the kill. Him and Glaive both deleted, and so it's Config oh. again. Caught by Cadian. And Heroic, they steal away Astralis' map pick of Ancient. Incredible game out of Heroic, right? What a statement piece to pick up such a, such a dominant win, at least at the start. That insane CT side beginning on a map that they have had trouble on in 2022. Astralis. Yeah, Her Heroic put so much faith there in Stoney at the P250 to try and find that opening kill, be left to Cadian instead. All of these players getting spotted towards the B bomb site. Astralis should know that the bomb is in tow as well. They may have lost their con control, but Zip is still here standing tall. Glaive moving in with those double jewelies as well. He's going to try and shred them. The headshot by Shush. Zip flash back in for more. They've already crossed to the jail. They're right by his side. Config provides the cover. Zip will at least send the fear into Heroic and make them reset going all the way back. Running a mark up the long side. Farley. Perfect flash. Is he going to hear this? Will he commit? Yes, he will. Starting oh. to move in behind them now. Round in the palm of his hands. They've checked for him. He's got a 1v1 here and he needs to win this. Tess says oh. manages to get on out of there. Here's the rotations. Config's already up, but Ooh. he's gone right away. 
And that's the A bomb site now, right for the taking. Oh. Bomb going down, and Heroic pressing the issue in the 3v2. Got so much space, but Zip is taking it right back to spawn site plant. Heroic move forward, Tessus goes deep, and Zip's read it well, but it doesn't matter. Drive by, by the P250, and Farley with no kit. Can't stick, a quick tap to force a reaction, and Tessus is quick indeed. Two kills off his P250, he gets juggled around there. Reposition their nades, let's see if these are any good. Spot from the scout, and in come the HEs. Good damage, but the rifles are tearing through. Yeah, you got a couple of low players now to contend with, right? Softened up for this scout on Farley. The Eagle of Blame F could look to get involved Ooh. as well. There's the USPs with kills. Suddenly what? rising to the occasion, Config tapping out a second. No way. Blame F's Eagle goes in with another, and it's only Shush left standing. One versus two. And the weight of the world on his shoulders, oh, up in he heaven, doesn't know, doesn't know where he's getting <laughs> shot from. And there's the closer. Oh dear. And this backstab for Glaive could be perfect. And they've walked out through the smoke. Zip in a world of bother. They're running him down. They haven't even looked at him. They've gone right by on the site, in the middle of default. Refresh, cut down in the sky. They will find that barrel player, but Config finds Tessa through the smoke. And this one's under wraps easily. Flame F has missed his timing. Test has heard and now spotted over at short. Diverts his attention back to Com, but not for long enough. There's ah. the backstab from Blame F. The rest of Heroic want to come through this monster smoke. Ooh, the flash can hit him. Fade zip on the other side. Not going to get blinded, oh. but they're already past him. Shush trades that out immediately. Glaive now at the barrels. Only good for the first. God, he's going to go right through. Blame tries to keep the site intact. Stout hits a blinder off the AWP. Bogdan's law in effect. And Flash and Kadian back into the short side. Astralis hear this. They know what that means. Two on two. Everyone lurking around this lower site. And another fight. Blade takes it. He wins. Stout can't trade. And he expects respect. He'll get nothing of the sort. Blame takes matters into his own hands and keeps Astralis in the lead. Now this double long side start to shift back over for Astralis. Glaive flashing them in for this swing. Oh. Farley is gone. Config's found one in the meantime down on the B side Wait, of the bomb. map. But it is this A play. The bomb still all the way back at T-Ramp. Wow. Glaive holds the line for now. Will go swinging back out, but doesn't want to go committing to these fights if he doesn't have to. He's super low here, so he's just buying time. Glaive on a weird off angle, and there's no smoke to cut him out. He is surely going to get one for one here. But Kadian checks it. Stown trades the kill, but no time for the bomb means Astralis finds six. Dude, this util is incredible for Astralis right now, right? Config's regressing. This is very dangerous. He might get caught by the orb. This, these are the kind of moments Kadian oh. wants, and there it is. Config on the receiving end of that quick flick from Kadian. A timing for uh, Stown on this backstab, but at the moment, Astralis know what's up. Yeah, this is now kind of the problem though. Zip's got to dedicate all his attention over here towards the con fight. So right oh. now, they get into the site for free. Wow. Glaive, the only hope, the last man standing. And a 1v2 teed up. Wow. There's Refresh. Out with a wide swing, full support from his teammate. Farley has that AWP on A. Meanwhile, it's up to Glaive again. Zip has stopped the short component, and Glaive's just tucked in on the pillar. They have no idea he's still here. Molly is good. Zip's forced out of position. He tries to get some value out of it. Glaive will certainly do so, but Knife Out refreshes there to trade. This gets so awkward now. It's so little time left. They've got to rush the plot. Oh. That's going to trigger peaks out of Astralis, but it doesn't go their way. Farley alone oh. in the clutch. Missed shot on the flick. Him and Kadian going blow for blow. Does he oh, want to commit with this retaker? Is it just going to be the save? The money is gone for Astralis. They clear toilets before they get that safe stick in. It was a perfect read though by Kadian. Players trying to come up through Dumpster, getting dealt death. More headshots galore. Heroic looking for flawless rounds here. Conflict's going to get run down. There's so much confidence brewing for Heroic and they don't want to allow any saves. Goomba stomps into CT spawn. That AWP is gone as well. Never ideal, but re-smoke available. That one's also missed the mark. Config's coming wow. through it, and he catches them. Stown trades. Plant now coming in. Kadian doesn't want to commit with the gap in this dumpster smoke. Eventually, he will. Glaive gives him the respect. Blame F still lost to the hands of time over at long right. That's not the case, so eventually he's got to look to move back in. 
He oh, could be caught out in yeah. the open. Bad movement, and so there he is, punished with that flash. Stown up close, they know where he is. They've got him trapped here, but a lot of time has ticked off this bomb. Stown, they've smoked oh. it, and now they look to move in. They're on it, they're sticking it. Stown's not firing off. Oh. There's the lineup! Stown, unreal gameplay, and Blame is gone. Four kills from the man, and Heroic are in with another. Blame oh, the barrel. In the barrel, barrel might betray him. Shush doesn't check for it. Most. Blame's now boxed in. Tess says wants this trade, oh. and it's only going to make matters worse. Blame F doubles up on the short side. KD's going to molly over on the truck. That's a really good molly. There's no smokes. One player's up in front. The other two are getting cooked a little bit. Singed by the fire. Nice check for KD. And Config puts up two. KD flicks galore. But Config lays down the law, and Astralis have at least won the half. That's not the case. They've grouped everyone outside of this B site. Blame F waits in Con. Could come in with a backstab, but he's going to miss the window on it. Oh, miss Farley. shot for Farley as they move in. Zip, good for a double. He does his part in the round. Now it's up to Farley. Around the pillar with support from Config. They hold on. Out on the monster side. Kadian cannot find a way back in. And with the bomb. So this one, it's got a timer on the play. But there's hallways, there's chances, there's gaps to be found. Blame locks it down. Are they ready for another man, though? A little bit late to the party. Kadeen gives it a go. But ultimately, Astralis are on to nine by the end of the half. Backstab again. This time it hits for Kadeen, but now all eyes look towards heaven. And Farley should be the one to end the show as well. Shot hits, Kadian 10 health, and Farley will find the finisher. Astralis take nine at the end of the half. And I gotta say, Zip put on a really good showing. On the fly, Heaven Smoke goes out for Astralis, and out they bound. Yeah, they're moving in and they're moving fast. Refresh, gonna have to do the heavy lifting. His teammates tagged down so Ooh. low on the short side, and nice. he's gone after one. Shush, suddenly out of nowhere is in with a double. The third man at the back of B has stepped up when it mattered most. And out through the short side, Blame is now trapped. Dueling with the con man, Tess says gets rid of him. It's gonna fall to Glaive, the man at the helm of Astralis. Oh. And he is deleted on that swing. Shush gets it done. The pistol round secured now. Oh, Blame, he wants the boost. He wants you to give him this fight. Oh. oh, he will get given it, but didn't look ready for it. Was eyeing it up the entire time. Oh. Instead, gonna do his work over towards short. Refresh, his aggro is punished. And Zip, not content with just the one kill. Wanted to chance it all over again. Keeping themselves in a four on three is big. Playing this on timings. They're gonna get into the site behind him. Just a question of when will he consider it? When oh. will he check? Right now is the answer, and that's the bomb tumbling away from Astralis. Testes has it, sat on it like a mother end to her eggs, and look at him go. He's lighting up this push into the A play, wrapped eventually by Blame F, oh, but the rotations what? are arriving and down. It's an awkward engagement, but he does take it across the line, leaving it all on Blame F in the clutch. Flanks on flanks, though. Shush has a great timing. There's no kit for him. Heroic, and he's got to be quick on this backstab. Blame has no idea, and Heroic will find eight off the back of it. It's a very risky flank, right? I know the Glaive is down on B short right now, looking to get poised to take some control while his teammates are working this mid area. But there are trades. Oh. It's not favorable, and the bomb is now out in the open. Worlds apart from Glaive, who even though he's made it into B and has that chance at the 1v1, he's now embarking on a far greater journey. A 1v2 up the connector, smoked off. He tries to run it. Can't doesn't wait. want to go through with only 20 seconds left. He doesn't have many other choices yeah. if he wants to win this. And so he is out of their heroic. They've stolen this round oh. right from under his nose. He Careful. might get some kills on the exit. But there isn't time to win it. It's 10 on the board for Heroic. He's just going to put distance between himself and that fight. Knows he can win it to the clock. What a read for Heroic. I've got to say it has felt like Kadian has had some incredible calling in this game, not just on T side. The uncrowned kings of Danish Counter-Strike going to have to meet their attempted usurpers head on in this A play. And that's the tag oh. out of Kadian. Stown is here to hold the line. As they look to move in, they've got to get past this double hold, and there's even more where that came from. Kadian meets them with the USP. Still flawless on this CT side. You know, the, the aggro, the, the, the terms of engagement, it's all being set by Heroic right now. And Astralis, they need a round to try and regain a bit of control. 
over in mid, a couple of missed shots from oh this orb, and these oh pistols are getting closer. Oh. He needs support, and here it is. Refresh and Stown move in. Sure, they might have lost their IGL, but they've quelled all resistance past that point, and there's Stown with the closer, soaring towards the finish line, our heroic. And Astralis are coming their way. And the man at the helm, Cadian in the scope, hits his shot, headshot to zip, volleys out wide, they come to you, and oh. Refresh dominates two, blame all alone, 1v5, and there's no getting out of here alive, Heroic have everyone in the right place, rent free, and you just can't pull the wool over Cadian's eyes. The solution is to try and get a bit of onus over middle. Try to take this toilet's control. Heroic have got a nasty surprise in store for oh, you. There yeah. was no winning that fight for Farley. He's fully alone in the push. And now out towards long. Glaive's desperately trying to pick up pieces. There's the first, but a second man oh. ready to swing is Tessas. Gonna get rid of the IGL of Astralis, who's now leading from beyond the grave. Zip and Blame F left in the two versus four. And with a third man still waiting oh. in the toilets that they don't even know about, this fight is nowhere near done. Blame F, he might have a kill teed up here. He might have a late trade to Tessas, but the real battle is only just beginning. 30 seconds to do it as well. He can upgrade, but he's got to go here and now. Kadian's already pummeling that rotate, running up the stairs. Blame throws in the smokes. He can lob all the utility wants. There's still a man tucked in right close. It's refresh. 10 health. Blame, will he clear this corner? Doesn't look like it. 10 seconds. He won't even look. A refresh find match point. Championship point here at Pinnacle Cup. 15 now on the board, five kills away Ooh. from picking up the title here in Lund. Yeah, I won't even get ahead of myself with the five on four, right? Zip gets dinked as well, he's low. And Heroic have won these positions before. The aggression is being held, blame cleared in the corner. Not the first time he's tried that cubby. Stowns one step ahead, Refresh takes the orb. And Heroic, look at the setup, everyone's here and they're winning all the fights. Config gone, dry peaks for Astralis. 150 grand for first place, not bad for a team that's put together millions over the years. Cadian, they don't know about him. Glaive, oh, oh my god, oh. he thinks he's found a gap, but in reality, oh. the moment he tries to go any wider, Cadian's got him dead to rights. Now out through Monster, Zip with the first. Still another man on short. They know about him, they know what's happening here. 35 seconds, smoke goes out, Cadian repositions. Time is running out for Astralis. Eventually, they've just got to dedicate, oh and they're going to try and get real tricky with it in they the final it. 20 seconds. They're running up Con, but Tessas is here, waiting, lying in wait ahead of time. 15 seconds. You got. You can't clear this angle. There's just not enough time. Tessas has got to fight for the site, for the life, and for the entire series. He'll fall. Zip gets a plant, and he's got to go back to his old ways, his clutch ways in this one-on-one -on -one against the captain of Heroic. He'll win it. 11 rounds. Four kills. The guy who is dinked in con to start the round puts it all down for Astralis. Oh my god, they're gonna go. They gotta wait. The train is in the way. They can't throw the Molotov. Cadian misses his shot. They try and push off the back of it, but flashes back for Heroic, and they murder them in the tunnel. Two for Shush. Config silences him. Astralis can play the mid round. This is a great position to be in right now. Three on three, but look at Tessa's space taker. They can make it out through the middle. Zip has done that at least, but this bomb is trapped. Holy. Farley may be holding it, but oh, it's a scary fight indeed. He's running it. Tess has heard it, and he's dropped the bomb again. With a minute left, that's problematic. Zip's going to try and respond here, but if it's he ready. falls, this shouldn't oh. be happening. Zip's knocked out, and so Config, 6 HP in the 1v3. It's not looking good. Tess has got his number over in mid. Down he goes into the doldrums, but here's where Refresh waits in the cubby. Config, surely no way. This is an impossible angle to clear of 50-50, and it's done! 16-11, Heroic pick it up. They are your champions. They take down Astralis with ease, 2-0. and zero. I just think that was done off of a near flawless CT side. Some incredible calling from Kadeen coming out of this series. And as you said earlier, Harry, that was the lower bracket run of dreams for Heroic. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the victors of the Pinnacle Cup Championship. You know who it is. It's heroic.